Yes, that was snow in the opening sequence. <laughs> Apparently it's not spring here in Montreal yet. It is cold. It was uh, minus two this afternoon, minus two Celsius. So quite cold. But we're not going to dwell on that because it is warm in here. And for the next 20 minutes, we're not going to think about the weather or anything else. <laughs> we're going to create. I won't be talking too much on this video because what I'm doing is fairly simple. I, I wanted to create um, a fun exercise without having to think too much. I, f I find myself overthinking a lot these days, probably because of all the uncertainties that we're faced with. I'm sure that will resonate with many of you. So I wanted to really thoroughly have a stress-free session and I was thinking of what can I possibly do that would fulfill my creative needs but without having to think too much about either a composition or a difficult technique. And I remember in previous videos, I remember repeating shapes. I know I did circles, I did the houses, uh, some other things I can't remember, but I wanted to keep it even more simpler. Uh, houses are simple enough, but you still have to uh, think about the doors and the windows and whatnot. Then I thought about leaves because we don't have many in our trees right now here in Montreal. Uh, so yeah, leaves is what came to mind. <laughs> uh, it's a fairly simple shape. It's cute. And I kept the shape pretty much the same throughout the entire page. And I thought, okay, let's see if I can fill up a page with this um, by varying the orientation of the leaf, using different colors, merging colors, uh, even painting just half of the leaf, like the one there that you're seeing, and then doodling on the other half. It turns out that I have doodled on most of those leaves, I think, I only left three untouched. Some of the doodles will be done with a brush and some of them will be done with the uh, Signo DX pen. So it's pretty much, it's very straightforward. I think this exercise is a good way to unplug, forget a little bit about what's going on in the world, but at the same time not have to overthink things. This to me was very satisfying. That's what I needed this afternoon and I hope that that's what will inspire you to create. It doesn't have to be complicated really. It really doesn't.
There are many ways to approach this style of exercise. Um, you could vary up um, the sizes of each of those leaves instead of just painting similar sizes you can have big small medium ones or you can have them painted all in rows uh, pointing in the same direction or um, play with the color combination obviously but you can also keep it monochromatic by playing with the different values of one color um, there's one thing though that I've noticed at towards the end I was getting a little bit frustrated because um, I kind of went overboard with the doodling <laughs> meaning that I didn't keep it really simple I was trying to do all different things and one thing that I could have done to simplify this exercise would be to just maybe use only dots I could have also used just lines or even any other elements the the doodling doesn't have to match the shape meaning I could have very well done stars or asterisks it doesn't have to make sense really I hope you've enjoyed watching the video as I mentioned before all the supplies will be listed below I want to also wish all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day I hope that your day is filled with joy and maybe an art session that would be great <laughs> I also want to say a special thank you to my awesome patrons who are supporting my art over at patreon thank you all so very much for watching please stay healthy and safe and creative, and I will see you soon.